week, John Davis. Hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. Look up and down streets everywhere, and there's no denying America's 35 years of passion for pony cars. Look even closer and you'll see that the original pony car, the Ford Mustang, enjoys a particularly intense and loyal following. So when this new 99 Mustang GT arrived with a new look and more horses under the hood, our staff couldn't wait to saddle up and thrash it around a bit. So does the new GT have what it takes to keep the pony car passions burning bright? Ford wanted this latest Mustang GT to push the buttons, tug the heartstrings, and stir the souls of longtime Mustang fans. So they gave the latest Mustang a look that is both retro and cutting edge. A pony car for all seasons, you might say. The makeover started on the outside, where designers mixed Ford's new edge design theories with familiar styling cues from the Mustang's youth such as the long sloping hood that ends in flush mounted headlights and a very vintage looking honeycomb grill and chrome Mustang in a corral logo, or the prominent hood scoop and sharp edge side scoops that recall GT and Shelby models of the late 60s. Classic Mustang is the short rear deck, but it's now made of plastic to save weight, while three-piece stepped rear light clusters are very Mach 1, as are the bigger, healthier sounding three inch diameter dual exhaust pipes all pulled together by ultra crisp lines drawn from Ford's recent GT90 concept car. But the Mustang's appeal has always been more than skin deep and tucked under the GT's sharp new skin is a much more potent power plant. Ford's modular 4.6 liter single overhead cam V8 now makes 260 horsepower and 302 pound feet of torque. That's 35 more ponies and 10 more pounds of bottom end grunt than last year. It's coupled with either a smoother five-speed manual transmission like the one in our test car or an optional four-speed automatic. Punch it and this pony sprints to 60 in only 5.5 seconds and gallops through the quarter mile in 14.6 seconds at 98 miles per hour. That's as fast as last year's Cobra model. It's smoother and more linear as well with the engine pulling hard through the entire rev band. The new camshafts and straighter intake manifold runners make a real difference. Also new is a wider rear track, while both the McPherson front and four-link rear suspension get new springs and revised shock tuning, which we put to the test on Georgia's challenging Roebling Road Raceway, where the latest Mustang GT showed us that some horses definitely get better with age. The 99 GT offers quicker, crisper turn-in than last year with less understeer, while tighter build tolerances and reduced boost give the power rack and pinion steering more feel. Still, it's a little light for our taste. The brakes have also been upgraded with lightweight twin piston aluminum calipers and a new master cylinder. This delivers better brake pedal feel and stops from 60 that average 125 feet. Give it a workout like this though, which few drivers will ever do, and you will experience some mild fade. Put this pony on the street and you'll experience a smoother, though hardly Lincoln quality ride. But it's a far cry from the teeth rattling ride of old. It's also quieter, thanks to greatly increased use of sound deadening materials in the body structure. While 1999 also sees the arrival of an optional traction control system, which should make the GT easier to drive in bad weather. Inside, the Mustang GT has seen fewer changes. But as we've said in the past, that's okay since this is still the best design in the pony car class. The dual cockpit style dash is clean and straightforward. While the front bucket seats now offer six-way power adjustments and one inch more rearward seat travel. They're firm and comfortable, but could use a little more lateral support for hard driving. Gauges remain large and easy to read, while heat and ventilation controls are super simple. And even the stereo controls, while set below the ventilation controls, are clean and well organized. As always in coupes like the Mustang, rear seat room is pretty tight for adults, but it does split and fold for versatility. The trunk itself offers a reasonable 10.9 cubic feet of space, but the tight opening and high liftover make loading large bags rather difficult. Paying for Mustang performance is, however, easier than you might think. The insurance-friendly Mustang V6 begins at $16,995. Our V8 GT Coupe test car begins at $21,395. And as tested, tallies $23,665. Want a GT convertible? Then plunk down a still reasonable $25,395. So price clearly makes America's best-selling pony car even more appealing. 
and that's in addition to its very individual styling and improved performance. But for many of us, what makes the Mustang GT special is its uniquely American feel. Automobile Magazine also noted that it offers a driving experience that is distinctly different from front-wheel drive performance coupes and the latest crop of rear-wheel drive roadsters from Europe. It's been 35 years since the Mustang first blazed its way into the American automotive consciousness. And driving the 1999 Ford Mustang GT shows us that the pony car fire and the passions that it ignites in the hearts of American car fans has lost none of its heat. To get the most out of ABS brakes on your car, remember these three little words. Stomp, stay, and steer. Stomp the brake pedal in a panic stop, stay on the brake pedal even if it vibrates or makes noise, and steer where you want to go. ABS brakes work best when you stomp, stay, and steer. Coming up, driver's choice winners 